today I just wanted to make a quick, 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 quick haul. I bought some stuff from Korea one or two months ago, but I didn't really get to share with you guys what I bought, and I just wanted to like share that. And I haven't been using this stuff the whole time because I wanted to make this video. Let's just get to it. I bought a glasses which I totally forgot about. They usually sell a lot of these uh, fashionable glasses for about uh, 10,000 won. A little thing I bought from Artbox. Artbox is a stationery shop but sells a lot of other miscellaneous stuff. bought this 2017 calendar. It's very girly, I know. It's a very nice pinkish 2017 calendar. I like these calendars where they have big, big, huge um, boxes for me to write stuff. So I can just pop this in my bag and just always carry it around. It goes all the way to 1st January 2018. It has very cute drawings around it. I got this for 2,500 won. Milk sponge from uh, Butter. Butter is also this shop where you get a lot, a lot of different things like weird stuff. It's one of those makeup blenders like I can just open it up and show you guys now. This is black and white. It's puffy. Bang, bang, bang. All my sponges my whole life has been from Butter because it's very cheap. This is only for about 2,000, 2,500 won. I got two different versions. One is the black and white one and one is the usual ones that I get pink. Also 2,500. Um, next is my favorite um, face mist. Innisfree face mist. It's very light on the face, so it's very good for on the go or during your flights or anything. It's very handy. I also got these. This is officially the best nose pack I've ever used by Tony Moly. One is for about 2,001. You can get it here in Malaysia, but uh, it's a bit more pricey. But it works like. Um, next would be a Real Fit Creamy Lipstick. Mm, very nice. It's very creamy. I never tried this. This lipstick went for uh, 12,000 which is about 30 ringgit. And it's in the color number 8. Very nice. Mm, I really like this. Before I forget, the most important thing that I got from Korea. This is the only thing that is in my head each time I set my foot in Korea since I found it. A lot of people have been telling me about it before I bought it but finally I decided to just try it on my own. This guy. <gasps> How come? Well it's hard cover and I also can do it. This is pumping and pumping is my favorite toothpaste in the world. Why is this so special? First, you pump it out. Okay? It's also very hygienic. You don't have to worry and argue with whoever you're sharing your toothpaste with whether to like squeeze from the bottom, squeeze from the top. You just pump. You also save a lot on toothpaste because you just pump a bit and then it will really bubble up. And it tastes very good. It tastes like bubble gum guys. It tastes like bubble gum. How is it different from the rest? I don't know. But after using this and then I switched back to the normal tube ones, I now know the difference. Normal tube are ones that I use, Dali, Sensodyne, Colgate, blah blah blah. They are all very rich in like the powdery ingredient. It's like a very florid, very, very powdery. But you don't realize that if you've been using that all your life and then you use this for about one or two months, right? Then you go back, you switch back to the to the tube ones and then you go, mm, what's this like sugar in my mouth? Like meh. This is very smooth. It 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 it's just so smooth. This is the bomb for me. This is the only thing that I have to get when I go to Korea these days. Actually if you look at my vlogs, I go there quite often in the past two years, so I've had a lot of time to get this. Ooh. So this is officially one of my um favorite daily lipsticks to use. It is pink. This is also the first tube of lipstick I've used until the end. It gives a very very natural tint of pink but it doesn't feel like there's really lipstick on your lips. So at least you look a bit healthier. And the texture is also very creamy and moisturizing. Uh, unlike all the other lipsticks where it sort of dries out your, your lips. Very good product. Um, it's called the Innisfree Echo Tint Balm. Number 3 maybe. I don't know if it's a pattern or it's a number. Ultra fine brow cara. I just dyed my hair black, but when I bought this, I had brown hair, so I wanted like really lighter brows. But even now, I think I would prefer lighter brows. I don't think they sell this here. Ministry, if you want to hit me up, just let me know because I'm only buying stuff from Ministry usually, lah. Because I I I like I like their stuff. My skin, my whatever, my body just 
feels in this way. Very, very fine. It's very fine. How it works. Now this one went for about... This was 6,000 which is about 20 bucks. Very, very cheap I think. I got an eyeshadow blender because the blender that I'm using now is... Mm -mm. This is only about 12 to 15 ringgit. It has a huge like feathery thingy. I also got this Air Magic Puff thingy because... I always dirty them. You know the cushions that you have? I don't like it when it gets very dirty here. I always wash them, but if I cannot get it off here, I just feel like the puff is very dirty. Because it's white, right? And you sort of see it, so yeah, I just don't like it. So I just buy. So just to recap, I got myself some nose pack, a brow cara, a mascara for your brows, some puffs for, for the cushion, eyeshadow blender, tinted color lip balm, sunglasses, the red lipstick, puffs, there's this one, this, the, the, the face mist, the 2017 calendar. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, that's about it. Bye. Oh, I already wait so long to use also no good.